so yeah, that, that Isaiah 34, hey, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great, uh, a beautiful, a slaughter, man, of America. It's gonna be that great savior to Yahweh, Yahweh's nose, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Cause he gonna come with them host of angels and they gonna get busy as well. Uh, let's close out Revelations uh, 9 and 15. You're gonna go to the end. You can read, you can read verse, you read 15 and 18 and you read 19 and 20. For verse 19 and 20. Baba Kasha. Uh, you said chapter 15 verse chapter 9 chapter starting 9, 15 like All right <clears throat> this is the book of revelation chapter 9 verse 15 mm -hmm. and it says and the four angels were loose mm -hmm. which were prepared for an hour mm -hmm. and a day and a month and a year for the slave uh, uh to slay, for to slay, it's like you, the third part of men. So the third part of men is Esau. Because you got the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of the wicked. So Esau, that third part of men. So the third particular time in the season, the angels are going to let loose. They're going to bring this destruction on Esau. Go ahead. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200, 200,000, uh, 200,000. So 200,000, thousand is going to be over it's gonna be over, over 200 million missiles, man. It's gonna be a lot of missiles hit this place. Wow. Now, you had one Jake told the one brother, well, how they how, how they gonna make 200 million missiles? Because one warhead can have multiple uh, uh, warheads in it. So you have one big missile could have a lot of different little warheads inside. So there you go. Go ahead. And I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates See, of fire. So John saw the missiles looking like horses. Because a horse, when he runs, it's, it's a thump they give, it's a roar. When you hear him move across the land, and that's what that, that roar comes from the missiles. Go ahead. End of Jason mm -hmm. and Brimstone, uh -huh. and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. The heads of lions, man. Because a lion can conquer and devour. And that's what these missiles are gonna do. They're gonna devour up America's uh, landscape. Okay, go ahead. And out of their mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone. Fire and smoke and brimstone out of their mouth. That's what's gonna bring the smoke and the brimstone that, that, that the head of that missile, where all the uh, actual warheads at, okay? That uranium and plutonium, go ahead. By these three was the third part of men killed. The third part of men killed, Esau, right? And your whole power structures Finna be knocked down by the thermonuclear uh, missiles. Go uh, ahead. By the fire and by the smoke mm -hmm. and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For their powers in their mouths and in their tails. Mm -hmm. It's in the tail because the tails is what propels it through the air when it comes out the gal. That's why it wiggles like that. it looks like a snake going in the air. That's what John saw. Okay, go ahead. For their tails were like unto serpents. Like unto serpents. Because you see a snake moving, what he go? Winding side to side. Right. So when the missiles are shot, that's how they go in the air until they go up to the, to the uh, stratosphere and then they straighten out and go towards their targets. Go ahead. And had heads, and with them they do hurt. And they do hurt. They're going to bring destruction. Okay, they're gonna be the, they're, those are destroying winds. Go ahead. And the rest of them which were not killed by these plagues mm -hmm. yet repented not of the works of their hands. See, the rest of them that were not killed, meaning who the elites, because the elites are not gonna be killed by the thermonuclear missiles because they, they, they're gonna be living in what the space stations and these deep, deep underground bunkers. Okay, uh -huh. they're not gonna they're gonna not gonna be uh, destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles. Uh -huh. Again, they're not gonna repent of the evil that they're doing on the earth. All uh -huh. the people there they're causing all this death on the earth, they're not gonna repent from it because why? They're the devil uh -huh. that the Bible speaks of. Go ahead. That they should not worship devils mm -hmm. and idols of gold uh -huh. and silver and brass and stone. See, go ahead. And of wood which neither can see nor hear mm -hmm. nor walk. Let's go ahead. Neither repent it. They of their Salakia, neither repented they of their murders. Of their murders. So you think they're going to repent for killing the Native American Indians? No. You think they're going to repent for uh, bringing smallpox on the natives? Right? You think they're going to repent for uh, 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 feeding our babies and alligators? You think they're going to repent for any of this? Smallpox on the natives? 
You think they gonna repent for this right here? Feeding them bait? Look at them alligators. Look at that. You think they gonna repent for any of that? No. Go ahead. Nor of their sorcerers. Nor of their witchcraft. That witchcraft they constantly do, right? All the time. Pursuing that. I read Isaiah 47. It speaks on that. Esau's a, Esau's a witch. You ain't gotta read it. Just I'm saying read it when y'all got time. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, <laughs> Go ahead. Nor of their fornication. Of their fornication, go ahead. Nor of their thieves. Or of their thefts. Theft. And so they I stole the whole nation of people. Stole the land. You think they're gonna repent for that? For coming coming over there using them Hamites and them Arabs to bring us to America? No, they're not. They ain't not gonna repent of that, man. They're not gonna repent for coming over here with Columbus and killing the natives, man. The tribe of Gad, man, and, and the tribe of Reuben. They're not gonna repent for that. Right? So we're gonna have to like basically. Like it says, uh, 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 finish with our songs, 149 and start at six. This, this is what we're gonna have to do today at least, man, because they're not gonna repent of it, okay? All right? <clears throat> Keep your brother to read it. Go on, go on. And we, we end on that. But they're not gonna repent. This is basically what we gotta do to them. Go on. Psalms 149 and six. Mm -hmm. Let the high, I mean, let the, Yep. Let the high praises of the Lord, I mean of God, be their mouth in their mouth, uh -huh. and two edged swords in their hands. And two edged sword in their hands, literal. Okay, uh -huh. go ahead. To execute vengeance. Nah, go ahead. It's some more. Now nah, you can skip something. Ah, uh, this seven right here. To execute. Right. Read that. Read it. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Okay, to execute and, vengeance upon the heathen. And punish upon the people. Punishes upon the people. To blind. Bind. I mean, to bind their kings with chains See? And, no, uh, and their nobles. Uh, Better. Uh, feather of iron. Now, that's what we got to do to them. With that two-edged sword, they're going to they gonna skip the destruction. So we're going to have to bind their kings and their nobles. With chains and feathers of iron. Come on. The old feathers of iron from back in the day. That's how we gotta do your people, man. That's how we gotta do your elites, man. Because they're not gonna repent. So we gotta, we gotta hard, we gotta put that hardcore uh, uh, rod of iron on them. Come on. Okay. And, and, and that's how we're gonna do Esau, man. Okay. That's how we're gonna do them. I get this in second answer. Go ahead. So we patiently wait on that day. We can't wait till that day come. Till we can buy your keys with them chains, man. This is second entrance 15 and 56. Like thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, even shall God do unto thee and deliver thee in the mystery. See, the way you done us, like you have done to the chosen, yeah. the Lord gonna deliver you over to the same evil. That's a good scripture right there, man. Hey, rock it out your house for the brother pulling that scripture out, man. That's uh, a heavy scripture. That, that's, that's one of them confident faith building scriptures. The way you done and chosen, the same way he's gonna send you over to mission. He's gonna send you to the same evil, man. And with that, all praise, honor, and glory be to the heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hey, man, GMS Arkansas, another street preaching, man. We almost out of here, brothers. Keep your faith. Keep strong, man. Abba, 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 Abba. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.